Hello and welcome to Cake. Today I'm making Marmorkuchen, a classic German marble bun cake. Let's review the ingredients together. For this recipe, I used 230 grams of butter, 300 grams of powdered sugar, six eggs, 360 grams of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, 100 milliliters of milk, and 30 grams of cocoa powder unsweetened. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy these types of recipes, then make sure you subscribe at the end of this video. Now, let's begin with this recipe. I begin with butter at room temperature and I cream it for about a minute. Then in three different batches, I add the powdered sugar and beat it for about two to three minutes. Then I mix one egg at a time into this, until it's all well incorporated. In a separate bowl, I combine the flour and the baking powder and mix it well. Then in two different batches, I fold in the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. You don't want to overmix the flour into this because overmixing flour is going to lead to just a dry cake. Now to the cocoa powder. In a separate bowl, I combine the milk and the unsweetened cocoa powder and mix it until there's no more clumps of cocoa powder left. Then I split my cake batter into two equal portions and combine one half with the cocoa powder mixture. Now I'm also going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or about 180 degrees Celsius. I'm also going to thoroughly butter my cake pan and also add a good lining of cocoa powder to the inside. This is going to make sure that I can release the cake when it's done really easily. Now I just layer the different um, cake batters that I have, the vanilla and the chocolate. And then this is going to go into the oven for about 55 minutes to about an hour and 10 minutes max. When it comes out of the oven, I'm going to let it cool for about five minutes in the cake pan and then just flip the cake pan over and it should release pretty easily. As you can tell, there's a good coating of cocoa powder on top. This is not burnt cake. It's just the cocoa powder and the butter with which I had greased the cake pan. And all that's left to do now is to cover this with chocolate sauce. Let's cut a slice, shall we? I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more delicious recipes and creative ideas. Thank you for watching and see you next time.